Hey, Artie and Jack here, and this time around we're going to be speaking about a, uh, a brand new kit. It's called the Torrey Hill Lumber Company, named after a place right here in Maine, and kind of uh, the kind of kit that fits well in North Carolina and uh, in the West and in the Midwest and pretty much everything, especially up here in Maine, of course. And there are so many parts to this kit. Now, I know it's one kit, that's what you're looking at, but it's actually like three, four, five sub-assemblies sub that really have to integrate into each other it's, to make it all work as well as it could. So what we're going to do here is break this clinic down into four or five videos, Jack. Jack is going to be man, uh, manning most of the technical aspects of it, while I'm going to be going through the first part of this in our page-to-page -page series of instructions. This is your instruction manual. If you have the kit, you know what this looks like. And you already know that if you look at the first page, the second page, the third page, and even the fourth page, every one of those pages has full color photos of this diorama that you see right in front of us right now. Um, in the beginning of the book, which is actually page five when you get to some, some actual words, we have a, 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 an unusual thing where we actually tell you how the plastic pouches inside of the kit are broken up. Uh, Part, one patch is for the lumber shed, uh, one part is for the office building, one part is for the yard, uh, one part is for the water tower over here, which we've managed somehow to misspell, okay? So the idea <laughs> is that everything, well, you know, uh, everything, is, um, everything is exactly uh, subdivided into smaller pouches, so when you open up one pouch and have the whole kit bounce out at you, it gets very confusing. This way you have a lot more control over this. So that's on your page five. Page six, the very top, Jack. You see what it says? Don't trust the instructions. Please don't. I do the best I can, but I'm only a human type of being, and um, we are, you know it's important that you have that you have your own experience with these kits. And that actually, although Jack did the master model on this one, I know that you could do better than Jack. I'm I'm sorry, Jack. No problem. Okay, so anyhow, use some of your own intuition on this. Page 7 is more basic details and building techniques. And we go through that on page 8. And page 9 is simply generic things about painting details and castings because there definitely are more than a couple included with this kit. Uh, the, real, the real assembly starts where the next video will start, and that's on page, oh, page 10, which says lumber rack assembly. Now, this is important that you follow the sequence because lumber racks are internal details that go inside the lumber shed. And guess what? You build the shed, you put the rack in later, you can't. One thing about the kit is if, when you get to a certain point, you have to follow the sequence that we give you. If you build a lumber rack as you should in the very beginning, you have to make sure it's ready because before the lumber shed is completed, you have to install the lumber rack. You won't be able to handle it any other way. We're going to try to keep this as short as possible and with that, we are on page uh, 10, and uh, in the next video, Jack will talk about how to build that same lumber rack.